So as I mentioned, we are going to be using the chemical reactions digital model to further in investigate what is happening when we were mixing these substances together. I'm going to show you how to get there. If you have access, after I give you this instructions, you can go ahead and pause the video and do it yourself. But if not, please make sure you follow along and we will do it together. So here in our Amplify page, we are going to click the top three left uh, lines in the top left corner. And this will allow us to open up the chemical reactions digital model here. Um, and if we take a look, we will be able to see that it should open us up right to laboratory A. And that's where we're going to be in our investigations for today. Uh, so if we give it a second, we'll check that we are in it, laboratory A, um, and this is going to be where we, we want to be. So if we are returning to think about our goal here, um, what we're going to be doing today is trying to take a look at our reaction and what was really going on here. So we are going to find calcium chloride and sodium carbonate in the digital model, um, and we are going to mix them together and kind of replicate our investigation that we did in the last lesson, but this time, we will have the ability to be able to see what exactly is happening to the molecules and the atoms when these things get mixed together. So let's go ahead and get started. Remember, if you have access, you can pause the video and do your own investigations. All right, so as I mentioned, we are going to first find our calcium chloride. Um, this was one of our substances in our investigations. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. Um, it is that white powdery substance like we saw in the container, uh, but remember that I put mine into a solution. So I dissolved it um, in the water. The other substance, as we know, is our sodium carbonate. So I'm gonna go down here and I see I have it. Um, so again, that was that kind of white granule substance, but again, I put mine into solution. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we hit test. They're mixing together. Okay, so there is, oh, interesting. Immediately I saw them bumping into each other. I'm actually gonna replay that a little slower. So here is my sodium carbonate um, molecule. It's a repeating molecule of this substance. And here I have my calcium chlorine. So this would be um, a repeating atom group of this substance. And so here they're only showing one of each repeating atom group, but obviously when I was mixing it together, there were tons and tons and tons um, because we, had, we were able to see it. So right away I noticed when they mix together, the molecules are bumping into each other. See how they collided, they hit each other. And I notice when this happens, one of the atoms, two of the atoms in that repeating atom group break off. Now, if we keep watching, more atoms are breaking off. And actually, if you notice, there's been some reattachment, but not with what it originally was attached to. That's really interesting. So there's atoms still bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing around and interesting did we see in that moment the sodium and the chlorine atom attached that's really interesting and you'll notice that the lab conditions do say in water um, just like with me they obviously were in solution when they were mixed huh so if we look at our results drum roll do we have some new substances made let's take a look my starting substances were calcium chloride and sodium carbonate, um, and we know what their repeating atom groups looks like. But our ending substances are not the same thing at all. We have sodium chloride here, which is table salt. We made table salt, kind of interesting. So we made this stuff here, and we also made calcium carbonate. So we made some chalk um, in our reaction. So this was a chemical reaction. We did have 
products that were different than our reactants. Now, if you remember, we did see that it was in a liquid. We, we saw that milky liquid when we mixed it. And remember, that is because these substances were in water. So what we actually probably were seeing were these two different products dissolved in the water. Interesting. So that is what is going on during a chemical reaction. It seems that the substances are breaking apart and reattaching in a different way. So our chemical reaction of calcium chloride and sodium carbonate did create something new. And as I was seeing in the digital model, the chemical reaction was a process where atoms were rearranging to form new substances. And what I mean by that, by rearrange, is changing the order or position of something. So notice that here is another example of a chemical reaction. The chlorine atom is becoming attached to the sodium atom that was in the other reactant. Right? In the digital model, we saw things breaking off and then coming back together in different ways. And as we learned in our first part of the unit, even just having one atom different in that repeating atom group or um, repeating atom makes such a big difference to the properties that that substance can have. Even if there is just one atom difference, it is a different substance. All right, so hopefully you have that recorded, um, but we actually might need to get back on the digital model to further investigate a slightly different question.